24-year-old Ian Burkhardt can't move his arms and legs. But with the aid of the latest developments in a brain-to-computer interface, he's now able to play video games when he visits this lab at Ohio State University. This is possible because doctors implanted a tiny computer chip in Burkhardt's brain that picks up his brain signals. Burkhardt must imagine moving his hand so the chip can send the right brain signals to a computer that decodes them and then communicates that message to the sleeve on his arm. In 2014, a team of doctors at Ohio State University Center for Neuromodulation and engineers from the research and development organization Battelle pioneered technology that enabled Ian Burkhardt to open and close his own hand. Burkhardt hadn't been able to move his arms and legs since becoming a quadriplegic after a diving accident at the age of 19. When we first hooked everything up, you know, for the first time of being able to move my hand, it was a big shock because, you know, it's something that I haven't hadn't moved in about three and a half years at that point. The technology works by transmitting Burkhardt's thoughts, the thoughts in his brain of moving his hand. Scientists created an algorithm that decodes that brain data into signals translated by a special sleeve that stimulates forearm muscles to contract and move. So it creates what we call a neural bypass from the brain over the injured part of the spinal cord and back down to the forearm uh, bridging over that, that injury and actually reanimating its paralyzed limb. Research on brain-to-computer interfaces has been going on for decades. Some interfaces are less invasive and don't involve implanting a computer chip in the brain. At Ohio State, the team working with Burkhart is aiming to improve their brain-to-computer interface so that one day cable hookups aren't necessary. We're hoping that these technology will evolve and maybe in a few years from now we can have a wireless system that allows a patient like Ian to be able to move his hand and his arm and his functions, his arm and legs and overall function much better without having um, cables to connect. The biggest dream would be to get full function of my hand back, both my hands, because then that allows you to be a lot more independent and not have to rely on people for kind of simple day-to-day -day tasks that you take for granted.